breaking down the Little Nightmare 3 candy factory and the new interview with the producer. We see a bed which wasn't in the friendship trailer implying that someone was living here. This is reinforced by the can scattered on the floor, which likely would have contained the food in which this person survived on. Who is this mysterious resident and why were they hiding? Watch to the end to find out. The creature in this shot is likely the same entity as the monster that chases our duo in the friendship trailer given the many arms, and the fact that it's set in the same setting. Some fans speculate it might be the man in the purple suit from the Sounds of Nightmares podcast. But why someone as important and powerful as that would be crawling around in pipes is beyond me. So I imagine this is a new character. Next, we are presented with numerous paintings. The hairnet suggests that they are workers in the factory, but the woman in the first painting? She's different. No hairnet, the only woman, no uniform either. It's likely she's the owner or the manager of this twisted candy factory. One of the paintings has been removed. Perhaps one of her employees rebelled or escaped, causing her to remove their portrait. This could be the same person who is hiding just outside the factory, which explains the bed in the first shot. It appears that employees are being forced to work against their will. Apart from this guy, maybe this is a punishment for disobedience, or perhaps he's being brainwashed by the signal tower. Low and alone wade through a sea of lollipops. Perhaps we encounter the lollipop boy from the digital comics and the cancelled DLC for Little Nightmares 2. If you look closely, you can see the mysterious eye that is referenced throughout the series, in the mall, the pale city, and the monster in the signal tower. In the interview, the producer reveals that she was actually working with with Tarsia as an associate producer for Little Nightmares 1 and 2, and goes on to state that there are several people in the team that worked on those previous games, which is very interesting. It gives me a lot of hope for the game knowing that some of the original creative minds are still involved. The interviewer keeps asking questions that she can't answer because she obviously doesn't want to spoil the game. I cannot enter into details on that because like, we don't want to spoil the players. Uh, any, any features you can already talk about that we didn't see or... Um, so I don't want to spoil new chapters and stuff like that. Dude, you've been shut down like three times. He keeps asking about the different biomes in the game. It's his favorite question. Um, are there any, any new biomes? When you work on new biomes, uh, where do you draw inspiration from? 12 seconds later. When you think of all the new features and biomes and stuff like that. 